Thank you, Chairman Neal. America is an optimistic nation. That's just who we are. But sadly, today, most Americans believe our country is on the wrong track. COVID is back with a vengeance. The economy is struggling. Main Street businesses can't find workers. Higher prices are eating away paychecks. Crime is up. And tragically, the mightiest nation on earth just surrendered to terrorists, leaving Americans behind enemy lines. No wonder so many are disheartened. In truth, all Americans really want of the Democrat-controlled Washington right now is to focus on defeating COVID, rebuild a healthy economy, and stop wasting our hard-earned tax dollars. Instead, today, Speaker Pelosi and House Democrats begin ramming through trillions of wasteful spending and crippling tax hikes that will drive prices up even higher, kill millions of American jobs, and usher in a new era of government dependency with the greatest expansion of the welfare state in our lifetimes. Unbelievably, within the trillions of spending in our committee, there's not one dime to defeat COVID. Not one. But there's tons of green welfare subsidies for the wealthy, a tax windfall for millionaires and billionaires, permanent new entitlement programs that punish the dignity of work, and a crushing new mandate on local businesses that puts the IRS in charge of your sick leave. Democrats are ramming through a reckless new expansion of Medicare just as it's a few years from bankruptcy. And how do they pay for this? By stopping life-saving cures for heartbreaking diseases like Alzheimer's, ALS, cancer, and muscular dystrophy, among others. The last thing Americans need right now is trillions more in government spending that drives up prices, kills jobs, and wastes our hard-earned tax dollars. Look how badly Washington spends our money. The unprecedented fraud and waste in COVID unemployment may be larger than what America spends on the Army and Navy each year. Millions face evictions from their homes because 90% of the emergency rental funding hasn't even been spent. 35 million tax returns sit unprocessed. Americans are still waiting for the stimulus check. Thousands of precious vaccines have been destroyed due to poor planning. There's no one in the Social Security offices to help you. And just try getting a call answered the IRS. Before Congress spends trillions we can't afford, let's insist on effective and efficient use of the trillions they've already spent. Americans deserve a healthy economy. That's what they got under President Trump and Republicans in Congress. Following tax reform, America jumped to the number one most competitive economy in the world. Millions of Americans were lifted out of poverty. Manufacturing research investment flowed back from overseas. And in just one year, 2019, household income grew more than in all eight years of the Obama-Biden White House combined. Poverty hit the lowest level on record, and income inequality began to shrink for the first time in half a century. Yet following the humiliating Afghanistan surrender, now President Biden is leading America on an economic surrender to China, Russia, Europe, and the Middle East. The casualties of imposing the highest tax burdens on the planet our American jobs, watching them move overseas again, along with our research, manufacturing, and patents. That's what happens when you raise America's business taxes to the worst in the world, higher than communist China, when you rig the international code to favor foreign companies and workers over American ones, and attack American-made energy with taxes that could kill a million U.S. jobs, raise fuel prices, and leave America more dependent on foreign oil. As Wall Street Journal's Kimberly Strauss wrote, this is a windfall for foreign competitors. But the real damage from Democrats crippling tax increases land on small businesses, on the middle class workers, and with a supercharged second death tax, destroy family owned farms. And yes, President Biden and Democrats are breaking their pledge to not raise taxes on the middle class. All these crippling tax hikes could kill or risk up to 4 million American jobs. And it comes at the worst possible time. Fighting back from the pandemic right now, we need to help businesses get back on their feet so they can get Americans back to work to rebuild a healthy economy. People are worried about higher prices in the economy. Why aren't Democrats? The economy is stalling. Businesses are fighting to fill jobs, and monthly paychecks are shrinking from higher prices due to government spending. Real wages have declined since President Biden took office declined. So families and businesses are falling farther behind each and every month. Job growth actually slowed down the first six months. Economic growth has peaked. It's downhill from here. 
President Biden has made zero progress getting people back to work, and the Biden jobs deficit is over 600,000 jobs short of what he promised from the last economic stimulus. No wonder consumer optimism has dropped alarmingly. So our committee begins its work today. Nobody's read the thousands of pages we'll vote on. It's been written in secret, filled with lobbyist loopholes and giveaways to special interests. But the President, Speaker Pelosi, and Democrats have promised that every dime of this massive spending will be paid for without budget gimmicks. Well, we'll see. But one thing you can absolutely count on, higher prices in our economy will only get worse if Democrats succeed in ramming through trillions of dollars in spending and tax hikes. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield. Thank you, gentlemen.